You're on the diamond tonight. Appalachian League Baseball. Axman facing those state liners, and this is some bad weave. He needs to go get his money back. Axman in control of this game, 1-0 in the fourth. That's when Mike Mancini reaches on a fielding error by third baseman Joe Kinneberg, who tries to shorthand it. Andrew Citrin scores. It was 2-0. Top of the fifth. The Axman defense shows up. Thomas Gould grounds it to a double play. Shortstop Mayswife the third to Mancini to Corbin Shaw for the third out of the inning. Axman in the bottom half threatening, but White the third. Third, grounds out the shortstop. Seth Buchanan goes to first for the out. Axman went on to win tonight, three to nothing. In Johnson City, the West leading Doughboys facing the River Riders. Doughboys in control, five nothing in the eighth inning. That's when the wheels came off for the River Riders. When manager Jeremy Owens, the Johnson City native, was ejected by first by his umpire, Carl Eastman. Then as he was leaving, he was bound and determined, I guess, to touch or walk on every blade of grass. I've never seen anybody take that exit. Bottom of the eighth, the Doughboys Doughboys, Caleb Berry, singles on the ground ball to left field. Brad Gregory comes home to score. It was 6 0. Doughboys. Top of the ninth, the Riders finally get on the board. Trey Fenderson doubles his fifth of the year on the ground ball to left field. A run scores. It wasn't enough. Johnson City wins 6 2. They have now won 10 in a row. They're just one game away from clinching. And finally, one other score to mention tonight it was Greenville beating Pulaski by the final of 5 3.